We're from the Lover Repair Cafe, which is just south of Salisbury. Uh, we run uh, two sessions a week down at Lover. Uh, we've been asked to come and help out here today, which we're only pleased to, so pleased to do because it's interesting to see how other repair cafes work. So. And, and how, how is this one different to yours? It, it's somewhat similar. Um, I think we tend to take more things home to repair than perhaps they, they do here. Um, but otherwise it's very much the same I think. Yeah, it's Similar sorts of items? Yes, very much the same, yes. Uh, you get coffee makers for instance, okay. uh, we get quite a lot of vacuum cleaners, yeah. uh, but a whole we, range of stuff really. We tend to take bigger items too, we, we're prepared to sort of take things home, to people working from home in workshops, that, which they don't do here. It's, here it's got to be done within the hour, isn't it? Yeah. So, mm. yeah. And, how, and how long have you been running your uh, repair cafe? Uh, two and a half years, we think now. Yes. Mar March 2019, we started. Yeah. And, and how, how many people do you tend to get along during the week? I think, yeah. on, on our, if, you, if you say on average about a dozen jobs uh, each of the morning, so let's say about 24 jobs a week, so that adds up to quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, we were looking uh, earlier and uh, we've done 2,000 jobs yeah. over the two and a half years. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. It's going to be in existence. And you've raised, what, uh, 5,000? Well, well, no, no, so, uh, we've just sent another 500 pounds off to the Salisbury Hospital, which makes it 7,500 7, pounds altogether. Amazing. And Amazing. then that is, we specifically asked them to make sure that money goes towards staff, all staff, you know, the cleaners or whatever. The money must go to help them and uh, they do assure us every time they tell us what it's gone to. So it works very well. You know. Brilliant. And I think people are particularly generous to us because they know where the money is you know, going. As, you, as you're aware, we do it for free other than paying for the materials and the rest is a donation to the, to the charity. So we've supported the, the hospital. We've also supported our local uh, preschool, which was struggling. Uh, uh, through, through COVID. Uh, yeah, so did you mention the laptops yeah. in school? Oh yes, yes, oh yes, John here has been a, a key person. You know when they, they, they had trouble with uh, uh, needing laptops for schools, John, you'd explain that. <laughs> yes, well we, uh, we put out an advertisement. We were getting a few laptops in for repair anyway and uh, some people didn't need them back anyway, they just brought them in for a donation. So we managed to, to look at them, make sure they worked okay and donated them to our local school, Trafalgar School in, in yeah. Downton. Mm -hmm. And I think we've done about 15. a dozen, well, I think we've had probably 15 laptops, but about 11 or 12 were suitable to go to the school. Brilliant. And all yeah. saving waste. Yes, yes. And, and I mean, helping people. And helping people out as well. Yeah. Brilliant. Yes. Next time we'll have soup. All right, I'll bring something for you from yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.